Well, hello everyone. It's uh, nice to be with you and to be part of the New Lights Festival, which uh, Douglas is organising. Um, Douglas asked me if I would like to contribute anything, and since it's uh, my 70th birthday this year, um, Stephen Huff very kindly has agreed to write a piece for me, which I'd like to give a sneak preview. It's not the premiere, um, um, which is going to be uh, later at uh, Cheetah's International Summer School, but this is a, a sneak preview. And uh, this piece is called Sonatina Nostalgica, and it's in three movements, um, recalling the area and the countryside uh, around Manchester uh, in a village called Lim. And the first movement is the road from Dane Bank, which is a house which my family owned until the early 20th century. My aunt, who was 101, still alive, was born there. And the second movement, the bench by the dam, and the third, a gathering at the cross. So I hope you enjoy this sneak preview. Hello, I'm Stephen Huff, and I've been asked to say a few words about my third piano sonata, uh, subtitled Trinitas. It's the only serial work I've written um, thus far, apart from some early bagatelles, which are in a drawer somewhere, unpublished. Um, but I wanted to use serialism to destroy serialism in this piece. So it's in three sections. The first two sections are strictly uh, using serial techniques. And then the third section lands on a C major chord. And this is actually built into the row. Uh, this is the row. Going back to the C. And as you'll hear in the row, there are lots of tonal implications, lots of thirds in there. And in fact, the last three notes of the row form a G major chord, and the first two notes of the row, a C major chord. So every time you hear the row, even in the strictly serial section, you're hearing this 5-1-5-1. One, one. So the tonality is there already. The first section is a slow beginning set of variations that builds up to the second section, which is kind of frenetic and jazzy, and uh, the, the row you hear over and over and over again in different forms all over the keyboard. When it gets at its most frenetic, you land on a C major chord, and that's the beginning of the third section, and that's in fact the section or part of it that Lewis is going to play uh, in this Trinity Summer Festival. And now the row is treated in a very different way. It becomes at this point a chaconne. Uh, the actual uh, row itself becomes a sort of bass line forming the harmony uh, for the rest of the piece. 
and it's very eclectic at this point. It goes into minimalism, it goes into a chorale, you have a hymn tune thrown in. Uh, and in fact, it's not until the very last page that we return to serialism uh, in an even more strict form than we had in the first two sections. In fact, a new row is, is um, formulated out of the earlier row, uh, harmonies on top of the, the earlier row. So serial music is meant and made to be analysed in a way, uh, but probably that's enough for now, and I turn it over to Lewis, who's going to play you the uh, first part of the third section of this piece. I should per perhaps say a little bit about Trinitas before we, we leave it. Um, this piece was commissioned by the Tablet uh, as part of, of their anniversary celebrations, and so I wanted to put something religious in there, theological in there, and it struck me that serialism and the Trinity are both dogmas. They're both an ordering by numbers, and both of them were very fruitful in some ways, and both of them caused a lot of problems in other ways. Serialism bound us into a way of writing music that was impossible to get out of until the 1970s, and the Trinity, uh, formulated finally in the end of the fourth century, uh, was a way of excluding other ways of looking at God, at the Creator, and it created a lot of uh, division. It was the final point when Jews and Christians could no longer even discuss because it was the dividing point in the line. So that's a little bit of the, the philosophical underpinnings of this piece, but uh, here's the music. <laughs> 